we're on our second to last challenge. And I love this one because I look at it and I just, I think linear, right? I see a line and a line and then I get stuck. And it's a fresh reminder to me that when you see a certain solution, right, don't give up on it. I know I can't make lines here, but I'm thinking, well, I guess it would be really nice if there was a line here. Maybe then it would just curve up. Look at that. Get a curve. I can get that, right? I can do that with exponential functions, get that curvature. And then maybe if it ended and then came back this way, I can get this one. And that's how we can do it. That's one way. There are many ways to solve it. Let me show you the solution so you can see it for yourself. Here's one slide. So you can see that it comes down and then picks up on this one. And then here's another. If we launch it, you'll see that it works. The question is, how can we get these slides? Whenever I'm thinking about the slides in, in this series of problems, I like to think of a parent function, something that's friendly to my brain. y equals 2 to the x is something I like to think about. If I go from this function to this one, what has to happen? I'm thinking translations. I'm thinking I want to slide it to the right and then slide it up. So I want to mess with the inputs by adding and subtracting. That's in the exponent here. Put that in parentheses and add or subtract some amount. You can even put a variable if you want to play with it. And then add some amount after that. And you'll get the slide you need. And then cut the domain off, right? This domain seems to be from 2 and above, so you only want to graph x is greater than 2. What about the other slide right here? Well, I'm thinking some kind of reflection over the y-axis and then some kind of sh translating upward. And that'll do it. So in your mind, always have a reference point. For me, it's 2 to the x. And that helps me picture everything else here. All right, hope that helped.